Well, hello, folks. Joe Fisherman back with you. Hey, I got a special request uh, to wish Darren Jones a happy birthday. Him and his fiance, Melina Pace, uh, she wrote me and wanted me to wish him a happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday to Darren Jones. Uh, they live up around Lake Hartwell, and uh, they was kind enough to offer me a trip up there if I wanted to come stay with them. I appreciate that. Uh, hope Darren has a great birthday. Today, folks, we're going to go, and I'm going to take you on a uh, catching a few small brim, and we're going to come back, and it's going to be a catch, clean, and cook small brim is what we're going to have today on the video. Hope you enjoy the show. God bless each and every one of you. Let's go fishing, catching small brim, then we're going to clean some, and I'm going to cook some for you. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Good morning, folks. Hey, we're on Lake Murray here this morning, and uh, we got a, some brush out here, and I think it's a bunch of brim on it. I'm going to put this little micro uh, gulp alive metal on there, and it's this uh, trout magnet jig here, and we're going to thread us a little gulp alive metal on there and see if we can catch us a brim. Flip it out. I think they brim. I don't think they crappy. They're little bitty spots. I done caught two uh, bluegills. We're gonna see with menace. We're gonna see if they'll hit this. Uh, and you'll see the couple I caught down in there. We're gonna see if they hit this dog on a little jig. There's a bunch of brim out there. I don't think it's no crap, it's mostly brim. I ain't sure yet, but I did catch two brim on menace. They might not hit this little G. I ain't get a bite that time. That thing's crooked anyhow. It's really a bad one, this crooked one. I don't know if they'll hit that cricket one or not. We're going to see. There's a bunch of bram out there. And I'd like to have me another mess of bram. I'd like to have crappies, but I can't seem to get on the crappies this morning. We went to across the lake and we ain't catch much. We come in another total different area. I don't fish much. And uh, we're going to see if we can catch some of these brim. I might have to put the metals back out there. They hit the metals. I got a few worms. Oh boy. I ain't want this little yeah. Don't look like I tell you what let's do. Let's put a metal on that where that jig is and see what on that jig head and see if we want to take it. Try it like that once. That might be the way to do it. Flip it out there. Hundreds of brim out there. Hundreds. I got a light weight on there, it might not be getting down deep enough. Well, there are plenty of them in there. They just ain't taking it. They just ain't taking it. You'd think it'd be some crap, so there's one. There's one, see what that is. Oh, Lord. Bluegill, look at that. 
bluegill. That's what they are, bluegill. Y'all see it? Pretty little bluegill. I hate to use up all the metals on them. Cause I hope I was hoping there'd be a crap in there also. What I was hoping. There might not be not one crap in there. Don't know. But it's a pile of brim in there. You got layers of brush laying out here. Hopefully I don't get too deep and get in it. You can see the brim all in the, it's warming around. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's a nice one. Uh, that might be a crappy. That's a big old bluegill. Look at that. Look at that, what a bluegill. Now that's the kind you're looking for right there, folks. Big as your hand. That's uh, what we call the titty brim. Look at that. Ain't that a beauty? Huh? Look at that. Uh-oh. My dog gonna camera ain't going. This one's going, but that ain't going. Oh, get you know, fell out the boat here. Yeah. Oh, why that camera didn't turn off? Now it's on. That one's on. Hey, that was a nice brim right there, folks, on metal now. I'd love to catch them on that artificial jig, but we'll use the metals. For that size brim, I will. Get back up there. We got something going on here, brim. I'll catch them that size. Hey, I'll have me a good time right here. I promise you. And there's piles of them in there too. I see them all over the place in here. Layers of them. Throw it back out. You can see them on the fish finder. I don't know why they wouldn't be crappies in there with them. Water's 24 foot. Got nothing biting it. Hit it, but he didn't take it. Hey, hit it again. Some little ones in there. Chuck it back out. Oh, he took my took my dog on metal. What are you doing? Boy, that was a big brim right there now. That's the kind you read about in Brim Magazine. All I'm doing is putting that hook bottom lip up with a tiny split shot and casting it. That's all I'm doing. 20 couple foot of water and bring it in over that brush. It's all kind of brim out there. They everywhere out there. Bunches of them. Like some good ones. And uh, there he is. There he goes. Got him. Oh my, nice one. Nice one, look at that. Look at that white bluegill. Beauty. Well, that ain't, that's a, that's a rock, what I call a rock brim there. That's not a bluegill. Look at him. Pretty one though, ain't he? Ain't he pretty? Hey, we're gonna have us a good time with these brims. I got worms. I wish I had some crickets is what I wish. They hit metals though. No question. I think that little jig here is, is working really good. Get back up here. Yeah. I'm surprised when it caught a crappie. I am really surprised. Cause there ought to be crappies and boys brim in there. Look at the brim. They everywhere. They swarming in there. I mean, they swarming in there. Bunches of them. There's no telling how many we'll catch here.
throw it back out. That's a real little metal right down there. I'm surprised they didn't hit that gup alive, man. I must just sit and throw it the right place. They ought to eat that thing up. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, he bumped it and I missed him. He might have took my money. He took my money. What are you doing? Let's try that gup alive mena one more time. I'm convinced. I think that other one was crooked, and that was a problem. I'm convinced they'll hit this thing. They ought to. All right, they ought to eat it up. One inch long, little bitty things. It takes a little bit of head to put them on, too. There is no reason why they won't hit that. It looks like a real minnow. I hate to use up all my minnows on these brim. They liable to eat the they liable to eat the worms up. One day I'm gonna bring crickets back. I'm sure they're gonna hit crickets. <clears throat> all right, let's throw it back out there. Sooner or later, probably gonna get a crappy. I'm yet to get a bite on this stolen gup alive metal. And I know they out there. They're all over the place. They ain't hitting this gup alive metal though. Hmm. I might have to get worms out and try it next. I don't want to use all my metals up. Man, we got them under us like crazy. Whole schools of them, brim. They all in the... They all in the... I don't think I'm getting down to them. They're not hitting this gub alive metal. Yep, there was a bite. Might not be getting to him. There was another bite. A little. They don't want this. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. They won't take it. Go back to real metal. Back here, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's see about this real mother. Boy, we got a school of them down there here. They all under me. No doubt. I might not be getting down to them. There you there you go. Finally got a nut. That's a nice one, huh? Oh, that's a little crappy. See, it is crappy out there. That's a small crappy. Huh? Finally got a small crappy. So some of them are crappies. Little crappies. Ain't no big one. Probably will throw him back. I'll lay him in here a little bit. I'm going to throw him back in a minute.
maybe little crappers is what they are. Maybe what they are. Little crappers. Let's throw it out there. There's one. That might be a crappy. That might be a crappy. Oh my, that might be a crappy. It is a crappy. Look at that. That's what's out there, little small crappies. Y'all see him? Y'all see him? There's crappies out there. See him? That's what I'm talking about. They're crappies. Instead of brim, they're crappies. We wasn't getting down to them crappies, what it was. Get back up here. There's, there's a bunch of them in there. Them scrappers, probably crappies and brim. There goes one on this one playing with it. I think we got him. We got him. <laughs> a brim. Nice brim, though. Look at that. Pretty brim. I think we need to get the red worms out. I think we catch more of these brim with the red worms. The wind's blowing me so I can't hold the boat. See that? Beautiful brim. Go get my worms out. Put it on spot lock. Go get the worms. See what happens. There you go, worm. Took the worm. Nice one too. Good brim. Look at that, what a nice brim. What? That is a fine bluegill right there, buddy. That's what we're looking for. Look at the size of that one. Hey, day. I'd rather catch them than the crap. Get back on them here. There he goes with the worms. There he is. Another big brim. Another big, nice brim. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Good eating that buddy. Good eating that buddy. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Who, oh, man? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love catching them brims because I know I love eating them. We get up here where the spot is, we're getting one. All right, throw it back down. Get another. I just can't keep it up there. I got trolling motor on low because I don't want to scare them no more than I already have. We got a minnow and a worm, what we got out there. There he goes, worm again. Got a nudding. Oh boy, got a nudding. Nice one too. Look at that. Oh yeah, good eating. Boy, look at that, look at that. Give my worm back, boy. Give my worm back. You can't have that, worms. Folks, we pull on another brush and we got some nice brim in here. Look at that, what a brim. Look at that, what a brim. Ain't that a beauty? Now that's pretty, Pretty special. Got a, he's got an orange belly. I got him on that little jig here where he wouldn't swallow it and he still swallowed it. So I'm gonna have to pop him out the side. Y'all see him? He's got an orange belly. Good eating size little brim right there, boys. There's all kind of fish in the 
I'm sure they're brim, all of them brim. Little bass scooting right there. There goes one. There goes one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my. That's a nice brim right there. That joke is pulling. Look at that water brim. Woo wee. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that old fisherman. What you done caught? A nice bluegill brim. What? Look at that. Hey, day. That's what we're looking for. Titty brim. Well, hello, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We went fishing today and we caught a, a good many brim, but we kept just a few of them. And you'll see them right here. We got two small old crappies. But when I got small fish like this, I'm going to show you how I like to clean them. Uh, I scale them, cu I cut the fins out, and I notch them. But I'm going to show you how I prepare them. And uh, maybe we'll do a uh, cook video also. Uh, but anyhow, Hey, glad you could be with me on another episode of Loving Life with the Old Fisherman. God bless each and every one of you. And, uh, hey, we didn't catch many, but we caught a mess. And that's what it's all about. And I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to turn the camera. And I'm going to turn the camera down to the fish, to the fish and the fish table. What I like to do, and that's uh, getting close to what I call a titty brim. He's a nice brim. And uh, what I like to do is I like to scale them. And I go down each, on each side, and then I flip him over, try to get behind the, the fins on that back, uh, right in front of the tail and the bottom. And then I'll put them in a, in a pan of water to rinse the scales off, is what I do. We'll do some more. Some of them are small, but let me tell you something. Those small ones are really good eating, really good eating. That's how I prepare them, right there, for scaling. You can get a little scaler like this at uh, at any hardware store. It's got them. I noticed the Ace Hardware had them. And, uh, or you can get them at, I think, Walmart's got them. A sporting goods store should have them. But uh, the crap is barely was eight inches. They were small. So I don't normally keep them, but that size, but... We are, we're going to cut down. I'm going to show you how I do my small crappies at the same time I do these brim. In South Carolina, they got to be eight inches long. I think this one right here was eight and a half. It takes a, a little, it's a little crappy to be eight inches. Now that right there is a nice uh, brim. Lake Murray brim. We caught some of them on worms, some of them on minnow, some of them on a a uh, gup, a live minnow, uh, but they didn't seem to want to hit that gup alive minnow in Lake Murray that good today. Worms is what got most of them. And I done told y'all I really love uh, cooking these little brim. I, and that's the only reason I targeted them is for my uh, dinner tonight. That's what I call a little rock brim. It's a sunfish, uh, is what it is. I don't know the exact name of it, uh, but they like to hang around rocks. That's the reason I call them a rock brim. Some of these brim are not big, but they sure will be good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm not gonna scale them all on camera, but we got some of them scaled. And what I like to do at this time, and I got a Rapala board here. I like to, I, I got a stainless table. And uh, the Rapala board keeps my knife from doling on the stainless table. And I'm going to show you how I cut the, uh, the fins out of a bluegill. We cut down each side. of the fin and I just kind of push and it pushes it right out on the bottom I'll do the same thing and uh, a lot of times I'll just grab that and then pull it to get it out 
Then I take behind the, the gill plate and I just cut it at a 45. All that part right there is not nothing but bone. That's nothing to good to eat. And then I go in and uh, and cut the intestines out. What I do, and I like to notch them. Put two notches in them like that. And then you got a a brim fish right there. Notch and see how it's uh, cut open in the back and on the bottom. Well, it'll fry in good. And it really makes a, and you don't want to over fry them. It makes a good piece of eating. Uh, anyhow, let's do another one. I'll show you a little slower. I hold him flat. I cut on each side the fin. I like to wear these little gloves. They call rockfish gloves. I got them from Academy Sports. Uh, you can get the cheaper ones from uh, Tractor Supply. But these weren't about $2 or something. And they got a little color to them. So, but you see how I done that. And I go right behind and I 45 it down. And then I cut the intestines out. And I'll notch them. And see, we got a good piece of, of fish right there. Let's do a crappy. The little crappies I like to do the same way. When they're not big enough to uh, fillet, I cut on each side the fin, push, push it out. Come on that side the fin. Push, push it out. The bottom is a little bit harder than the top when they get out. Then I'll do the same thing, I'll 45 right across. Cut the head off. And you can't beat, the way I like to do it is I like to salt and pep them, I notch them, salt and pep them, and, and use fine yellow corn, plain cornmeal. Plain cornmeal is what I like to use. Do another. Each side. Push, push the fin right out. I hope you can see me. I might have this camera a little bit tilted the wrong way. But anyhow, push, push it right out. 45 across it. Cut the intestines out. And you got something fit to eat right there now. Ready to fry. We'll do one more and then I'm a, we might uh, extend this video right into the kitchen. I like to do this in any skin on fish when they're small and use regular plain cornmeal is the best. You see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Huh? Folks, appreciate y'all being with me. I appreciate all the comments, good comments. Hey, let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how to fry these doggone fish and then we're gonna eat some. How about that, folks? Let's go in the kitchen. Well, hello, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We in the kitchen now and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my brim uh, get them ready for cooking and as we cook them I'll show you some cooking and I'll show you the end results y'all bear with me what we're gonna do now is go over to the sink and uh, and do some washing and uh, let's wash out our fish up what I like to do is I got them in a, in a sack here already cleaned the little brim and I'll rinse them off and make sure they're good and clean We'll rinse them, each one of them, real good. You'll notice I got them cut uh, with the fins out and notched on the side. We got a couple little crappy also we're gonna fry. Rinse them off real good.
I'm frying enough that I'll take my sister some across the street. Usually when I fry fish, I'll take her some also. The brim are not big, but I like them small like this. They're really good eating. The bigger they are, the stronger they taste. When they just mid-sized and small, those are the best eating, the sweetest eating there is. Can't hardly beat it. All right, what I like to do at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt and pepper them. I'm gonna fry them in corn oil, that's what I got. And, and uh, add Lou plain yellow cornmeal. And we got some in the pan. Right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna salt and pepper them. We'll salt them first. I put salt on them pretty heavily. Try to get it down in the cracks. One at a time. And there's a doggone crap that we had, a small one. And I'll do them the same way as them little brim when they're small like that. All right, we got the salt on. What we'll do is we'll turn around and put the pepper on them now. And I put quite a bit of pepper on them. Each one of them at a time. I waste got a lot of pepper. To stay in time, it don't pay to waste too much. It doesn't cost so much. But I probably should be doing it over the bowl and letting it what I waste go back on the on the fish underneath is what I should have been doing. You can also put the salt and pepper in your um, cornmeal. It'll be the same thing, but I'd leave to do it like this. That way I know I'm getting a, a good spread on all of them. Okay? Now, at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our grease on. We got the grease already in the pan. I like to turn them with two forks instead of tongs. The tongs wanna wipe off the crust. That's why I use two forks. Gonna turn the fan, well, we don't have to turn the fan on. We'll turn the light on. All right, we're gonna let the grease get hot. I put it on high. I got about an inch of uh, corn oil in the pan. We'll dry out our pan. I don't have but a couple pans, so we got to dry this out. After we corn mill them, we'll put them back in this pan right here. Take them over here to the corn mill. And like I say, corn oil, how, uh, adlu, plain yellow corn mill, and we're gonna put that to the side, turn the camera, Okay, we're gonna take the fish, and we're just gonna douche them right through us, uh, put them in the pan and put cornmeal all over 
every inch of it down in the cracks, preferably. You make a little bit of a mess. Each one of them, we're going to get the cornmeal all over them. You can put them in a sack and shake them around, do the same thing. But I don't, I'm, I'm going to do it this way right now. One at a time. We could put them in a, in a gallon freezer bag and put the cornmeal in that and just kind of shake them. Would be the easiest way, but we're going to do it like this. It's different ways to do everything. This takes a little bit longer, but you want to get the cornmeal all on it good. This is just my way. You can change it around and make it your way, any kind of way you want to. All right, now. What we do at this point, take them over to the stove. The grease is getting hot. Bring the camera over here. Now, what we're going to do is when the grease gets, what I like to see it do when I put them in there is, is it starts cooking like that right there. So that's perfect. You'll see them in there. We're going to lay them in one at a time. Not too tight together. Give them a little distance apart. We're going to try to get enough in there that we can do them in two batches. Like that right there. And we got them fried. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. All right, folks. They're getting about done on one side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip them. You see there? Just going to flip them. Individually, I flip them. The crappy is going to be good too, but the brim, I think, are better. These little brim than crappy. You can see how them notches are opening up. You see how the notches are opening up? And the, and the grease are fry, is frying down in them notches. That's what really makes them good. We still got it on high. If you're gonna fry two batches, the second batch, you need to turn it down just a little bit and not overcook, overheat the grease. If it starts burning, they won't be as good. Golden brown is what we're looking for. You can see them cooking. Ain't nothing like it. That's a mighty fine knowing right there. That's why I like to target them little brim every so often. They fun to catch too. I mean, they're not a great pull. A big brim now, they'll really pull a big shell cracker. But all we got in here is bluegill and, and regular sunfish. No uh, shell cracker. Seems like the shell cracker's not hanging out on them deep brush with the brim. They're probably in the shallower water. All right, folks. They're getting about done, the first batch. We got us another pan. We're going to put them in a little bit bigger pan. But before they get real hard, I like to take them out. When they're about like that right there, and we're going to place them in this pan. Mighty fine eating right here. Mm. 
And what I'm going to do at this point, we're going to put the rest of them in there now. Fry the second batch. Hopefully we can get them all in there. Gonna be tight, but we'll get them. A little bit tighter than I want it, but we're gonna make it work. Folks, that, my friend, is going to be some mighty fine eating right there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my. I can't wait. I just can't wait. We fried a second batch. The same way, we'll let them go on one side and then turn them to the other side. Do. We'll take this over here and get a better look at them, more light, and uh, we'll get us a plate and set it right beside it. And I want to show you what I was talking about when you cut these notches in there. See how it fries? Well, you can take your finger right in there and just pull out the pieces. I'm going to get my camera. When you break that, you pull the pieces right out that chunk, right out where it's not, and eat it. That's mighty fine eating. Look at that. Hmm? Mighty fine eating. Isn't that pretty? Look at them. I got one too many fish in here. Got them crammed. All right, folks. Time to turn these babies over. You see how good they look. Oh, my. And Logan's barking at somebody. That's about normal. Look how pretty and brown that is. Golden brown, that's what you want. You don't want it black. You want it golden brown. We get it on the other side, then we'll be adding them to the pile over here. And we'll take a picture of the final results. And Lord have mercy, is it going to be good? What? That's what I'm talking about. Good. Can't wait. But these babies here are getting a bite right. That's the way I like them right there. I don't want them overdone. We're going to put this platter up here, and we're going to pull these babies out. I'd rather have them a little softer than I would too hard. And they start burning, they're not good. Pick up that burnt taste, and we don't want the burnt taste. These right here look definitely luscious. That's what you call a plate of fish. I'm talking about good fried, fried up, beautiful fish. We're gonna turn the grease off. We're gonna pull this baby out here where we can see it. Look at that. If that's not pretty, I don't know what pretty is. We're gonna get the other camera out, move it over here, and you see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Beautiful fried fish old fisherman style and I'm gonna put the camera up right here and we're gonna hold it up to you hey nothing like old fisherman fried fish God bless each and every one of you see you when we do another video
Folks, look how pretty that fish look. Oh man. Bite off the tail. Take the fish off the top where there ain't no fins in it. Can't be it. Do this.